Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Crucible Chat. Yes, it's Saturday. It's that time of the week where I get to talk about whatever the fuck it is I want. My name is Mike, otherwise known as the Gadget Addicts, and in the background here we have some Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Yes, I haven't played this in a little while. I've lent it to my brother-in-law, and I've just got it back, and I sucked when I recorded this footage today. So I've given you the best match that I managed to get out of it. I think it's the only one I actually went positive in as well. So this week, what I wanted to talk about is the whingers, the whiners, the complainers. Yes, I've seen, I watch a lot of YouTube videos and I watch a lot of other content creators and I have seen this general trend to go onto YouTube to complain about the little things in games. Not the big things, not artistic choices or, you know, whether a game's universally broken or whatever, but it's the little things, people bitching the fuck on about little things. For instance, I'm a big fan of Thunder. And I like Thunder's videos. He does, well, he's one of the best Call of Duty players I've seen online. But a lot of his videos recently about Black Ops 3 have basically consisted of bitching on about the same things over and over and over again. Whether it be the score streaks or the lag or the connection or whatever. He just constantly whinges about it. And it makes me not want to watch his videos anymore. I see people complaining about some of the storyline options in Fallout 4. I see a lot of people complaining about the tiniest little things that annoy them to the point where they'll sit down and they'll put a microphone up and they'll make a video about it. Now, I don't know if this is... I'm bringing this up because of this kind of... the fact that I'm happy at the minute, as my video the other week uh, stated. But I'm sick of hearing people fucking moan on about insignificant fucking bullshit. And I appreciate I'm moaning about it now, but you know what I have a fucking right to. People complaining about the tiniest bit of a game that they don't like, or people going off about the fact that, I don't know, an HD remaster hasn't done something right, or they've changed something. I mean, I seen someone bitching on about Wesker mode in Resident Evil Zero the other day, which is an unlockable... You've got to finish the game, and then you can play through... Play it play through New Game Plus with Albert Wesker and you have all of his special powers and you can kick the shit out of everything fairly easily. Someone complained about that saying it wasn't Resident Evil Canon. It's like, fuck off. It's just a fun mode. It's like Mercenaries mode or something like that. You know, it's just something really fucking stupid. I've seen so many people complaining on about like the story in Fallout 4. Which, to be fair, I'll admit it isn't great. But the rest of the game is fantastic. So... You know, it, you've got to put a balance of probability on this one. No game is perfect. You know, every game has its deficiencies somewhere. I mean, my favourite game at the minute, obviously Bloodborne. Brilliant game, but I would have liked a few more weapons and a bit more armour, which they did kind of fix with the DLC, but at the same time, it still didn't feel like a Souls game, because it's not. It's a Bloodborne game, but a lot of people complaining about it in relation to Dark Souls, where there's like 50 different armour sets and shit like that. People going off it just for no good reason. And I don't understand it. I don't understand... I, I can understand if there is something genuinely upsetting you, that you go onto a microphone and you vent it out and you just get it out of your system. But you know what? This world is shit enough as it is without people bitching on about the littlest things that could possibly annoy them. Have a bit of positivity. I mean, come on. You know, it's so many of them are just complete first world problems. Oh my god, this game isn't exactly as I expected it to be. Oh no, I have to wait a few more months for Zelda on the Wii U. Oh my god, this HD remaster isn't exactly as I remember it on the PlayStation 1. Fuck off, shut up, get on with your life. Seriously. <laughs> oh man, I just... Be happy. You know, you've got to... You've got to You've got a game, you've got a YouTube channel, put the two together, make a let's play, do a silly video, record yourself falling off something for the laughs. I mean seriously, how hard is it just to be a little bit happy? Spread a bit of joy in this world. You know, the whole world does not want to hear people whinging on about insignificant bullshit. Be happy. That's all I want you to do. Be happy. Be content. Don't bitch on that your PlayStation's too loud or, oh, you know what, I'm going to go in loops here on this one, so yeah, I just, I wanted to get that off my chest because it's been bothering me for a little while now. I get 
that people get annoyed about things and YouTube is a great platform to vent and it is a great platform to get things off your chest. I mean, hell, this is what Crucible Chat's all about. Most of my Crucible Chats in themselves are whinging about something or other, but I tend to whinge about stuff that's significant or stuff that really annoys me. Not, I don't know, not that the Xbox One does 900p games half the time or not that someone said that I was a console peasant. You know, it's just... I don't know. Real life is hard enough as, as it is without negativity from gamers. And gaming is just a perfect way to escape. I mean, that's what I use it for. I love to escape into a world and I love to just put my headset on, open up a world, and if it's shooting, it's shooting. If it's RPGing, it's RPGing. You know, just having a bit of fun. Exploring some of the world that is the figment of someone else's imagination and just seeing the kind of things that they can come up with. That is, to me, what gaming is about. It's a distraction. It's a way to escape. It's a way to unwind at the end of a busy, busy day. So yeah, stop whinging, stop complaining, please. I'm begging it. I'll bash me head off the mic in a minute. So you, you, yes, you watching this, if you make videos complaining about shit, stop it. Stop, stop, stop it. Be happy. And if you can't be happy, then be funny. <laughs> uh, I feel better for saying that now, actually. I feel good now. So, yeah, this is another short one, but I just thought it was just something that was worth saying. So, thank you for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this, please do leave a like and subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And come back next week for some more Crucible Chat fun. For now, thank you for watching and good night.